Now, your latest news update from Western Mass News. Good evening, I'm Sarah Grinelli. Here's your latest news updates from Western Mass News. Some Western Mass towns are still without power following the intense winds caused by Tropical Storm Isaias on Tuesday. Eversource and National Grid crews are working to fix these issues. Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker announcing yesterday that he's pausing the state's reopening plan. He says it's because of an uptick in coronavirus cases in the state. Governor Baker says people have been holding large gatherings and not wearing masks. He's changing the state's restrictions, cutting outdoor gatherings to a maximum of 50 people. Also, officers are now allowed to enforce these rules by issuing fines to anyone not complying with the guidance. And the Massachusetts Department of Public Health says there are now more than 112,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the state. That includes 320 new cases reported today. The state also seeing 12 new deaths today, bringing the statewide death toll to 8,500. My first warning, meteorologist Don Maher. Well, there could be a shower around as we head through the evening. Otherwise, we'll see partly cloudy skies. It's going to be a mild night tonight. Tomorrow, once again, a mixture of sunshine and clouds. It's going to be a little bit warmer, and there will be a slight chance for a spot shower. But similar today, I think a lot of us do remain dry. And then the heat, humidity back as we head on into next week. There are some rain chances in there as we head towards the mid and latter part of next week. But as far as the next couple of days are concerned, temperatures on a warming trend, 88 tomorrow, and we could see lower 90s both Monday and Tuesday with a fair amount of sunshine. Definitely going to notice that humidity starting to build back in as well. And then as we get towards the middle part of the week, that's when we start to reintroduce the chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms, especially as we head on into Wednesday and Thursday as a slow moving cold front does approach the region. If we can hit 90 or better Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, that's our fourth heat wave of the season. Season, we cool things down as we head towards next weekend. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.